Australia's got the worst mammal extinction rate of recent times, with over 30 of our species extinct. And feral cats are one of the reasons for that terrible record. So we need to get better at managing feral cats if we don't want to add more extinctions to that record. We carried out uh, lots of different field trials to try and test different management options for cats to see what works best in different situations. And we also did a lot of information collation to build the evidence base for cat impacts, what species are most affected by cats, and what we need to do to protect them. So we produced the first robust estimate for how many cats there are in Australia and how they're distributed across the continent. We worked out how many mammals, birds, reptiles, frogs and invertebrates cats are killing, which of our native species are most vulnerable to cats and what we need to do to protect them. Our work has helped uh, inform where we can use poison baiting most effectively and safely to control cats and what happens when uh, you reduce rabbit densities in an effort to control cats. Fire and grazing helps amplify the predation impact of cats and if you manage fire and grazing carefully you can reduce their hunting success. Scientific evidence from the National Environmental Science Program has provided the basis for on-ground action to protect our threatened species. It is teaching us more about the mammals that are most at risk from predation by cats and it is helping us prioritise where to establish safe havens for threatened species, such as fenced areas and feral-free islands. We've worked really hard to make sure that the findings from our research get communicated to the broader public so that people understand what feral cats are, what they're doing to our wildlife, and the part that they can play in trying to reduce the impacts of cats. We've got to do everything we can all the scientists, researchers, managers, landholders, conservation groups to recover these species, to give them some hope, some, some chance of survival into the future. This is a critical time for nature in Australia.